Alibaba has released Quen3. The tagline here is think deeper, act faster. So these are reasoning models, hybrid reasoning models. So they have released their flagship model, which is Quen3, 235 billion, A22 billion. Uh, so this is a mixture of experts model. So here A22 stands for the active parameters, which is 22 billion in this mixture of experts model. So this achieves competitive results in benchmark evaluations of coding, math, general capabilities. When compared to other top tier models such as DeepSeek R1, O1, O3 Mini, Croc3 and Gemini 2.5 Pro. Additionally, they have also released a small mixture of experts model which is Quen3 30 billion A3B where it has 3 billion active parameters which outcomes uh, or out competes their QWQ 32 billion reasoning model. Okay. So here are some benchmarks where they say that this is a model which is competitive with say Gemini 2.5 Pro or OpenAI O1, DeepSeek R1 and OpenAI O3 Mini. So here are the numbers. So let's not go uh, just by benchmarks. We will test it out as well. It's available in Quen chat. So we can test this model. Uh, then what do they say over here is that they have open weighted these two models. Okay. So these two models are available as uh, for you to download. Uh, so Quen3 235 billion has 235 billion total parameters, 22 billion activated parameters. Quen3 30 billion A3B, smaller mixture of experts model, 30 billion uh, total parameters and 3 billion activated parameters. Okay. And they say that these models have hybrid thinking modes, which is hybrid approach to problem solving. They support two modes, thinking and non-thinking mode. Thinking mode is the model asks time to reason step by step before delivering the final answer. This is ideal for complex problems that require deeper thought. Non-thinking mode here, the model provides quick, near, instant responses suitable for simpler questions where speed is more important than depth. So with budget, when you increase budget for thinking, if you see over here, uh, in the thinking mode, when you increase the budget for tokens, for thinking tokens, the performance increases across various benchmarks for solving problems. Quen3 models also support 119 languages and dialects. So here are the languages and dialects. You can check it out. Now let's go to our Quen chat and here we can create a new chat. So I created an account uh, with my Google account. Uh, so you can create an account over here. And if you say a new chat over here, it basically shows up like this, right? Here you have the thinking mode. You can disable the thinking mode here. You have a search mode as well. Okay. Now let's go into our uh, first problem. So what I'm going to do over here is that I'm going to give a small uh, medical note. Okay. So this is my medical note. I'm going to give a small medical note like this. Okay. Where there is a chief complaint and then there is, you know, source and setting. There is a history. So the chief complaint is I got lightheadedness and felt too weak to walk. And then there is a history and other things over here. Based on that, I want a medical diagnosis. So here I'm comparing the thinking mode versus non-thinking mode. So this was the result which I got without thinking enabled. Okay. So it finds out the key, uh, key clinical features. It finds out lab abnormalities. Then it gives top possible diagnosis correctly over here. Okay. So the top possible diagnosis are systemic lupus, erythromatosis. So it gives that. It gives Sjogren syndrome. It gives overlap connective. It gives all these things. It gives a nice summary of likely diagnosis in a tabular format. It recommends the next step as imaging, PET scan, a biopsy and other things. Okay. The difference between thinking and non-thinking is uh, in the thinking mode, what I saw is that it gives the same diagnosis. Okay. Below are the most likely differential diagnosis, systemic lupus. Uh, it gives over, it gives surgeon syndrome. It gives lymphoprofiliative disorder, non-Hodgkin lymphoma, which is kind of uh, missing over here. It might be present over here, but not, you know, it is present over here, but uh, not over here in this, this thing. Maybe it is present somewhere over here like this. But uh, in the ground truth, what I found out was that that was important. Okay. Uh, so it says high priority next step, do this to exclude lymph node biopsy to exclude lymphoma. So uh, it says over here, urgent need to exclude lymphoma. So in the ground truth, that was present. So this was the difference which I saw in thinking versus non-thinking. So the thinking, uh, it took close to 38,912 tokens budget for thinking and it shows the thoughts over here. Uh, so it says with the combination of this, but also lupus markers, could this be an overlap syndrome? The way it has you know, shown the thinking over here is uh, nice. It's good. Okay. So then I gave a problem for understanding of the physical world where I said, we have a book, nine eggs, a laptop, a bottle and a nail. Please tell me how to stack them on top of each other in a stable manner. So this is physically not possible, right? Um, so here it says goal is to stack a uh, base layer should be wire, fragile item should be supported. So this is actually in the non-thinking mode. So eggs, it says, you know, you put it into a container or held together. So physically it is not really uh, this thing. So it says eggs alone cannot be stacked, but if kept in a, this thing, it can be stacked and then it gives a possible solution. Okay. So final thought is proceed carefully and other things it gives details, right? Now the same thing with thinking, 
what i've seen is with thinking mode is that it generates a lot of back and forth between the this thing trying to clarify and all those stuff and then it tries to give you the final solution so in the thinking mode uh it says again uh, you know take all these things into account size shape weight fragility and then try to do it so it says why eggs are fragile so they require a supportive base and careful to prevent this thing arrange and this thing gently place the eggs in a 3 by 3 grid it actually fails over here if you ask me because what i've asked is on top of each other right every item should be on top of each other so my expectation is that it should say that physically it's not possible to do this unless you have some external support so i find that non thinking over here to be slightly better than the thinking solution okay uh, so that was my experience over here i tried out some simple coding so i said create a 3js road rash game i should be able to run it on chrome browser non thinking mode it generated a code and then when i ran the code it's literally pointless over here right it fails then i put it into thinking mode okay and i asked it to uh, generate the code for road rash game so it said that again it did all these thinking tokens and then it gave me this one which is slightly better but still not good enough no obstacles nothing no scoreboard nothing over here so this was a quick coding check maybe for other coding problems this model could do good but it is kind of failed this road rash test okay gemini 2.4 nice uh, does a good job over here other models like uh, uh, gpt4 or something does do a good job over here in this kind of a coding problem okay then i tried a multimedia problem a multi model problem basically so i gave this delhi metro map complex delhi metro map i said i want to navigate from thekri border to faridabad old over here so it's there is a interchange over here at mandi house right there is a interchange over here at kirti nagar so green line blue line and then this uh, you are violet line okay to my surprise this model fails in non thinking mode completely i just say some green line go to some yellow line at interlock station it completely confuses it okay so then i put it into thinking mode and here i found out an interesting thing that you know it says red line rapid metro gurgaon it tries to understand the labels over here okay so let me zoom in a little bit for you so it says red line is rapid metro gurgaon actually red line is red line rapid metro gurgaon is a separate thing okay so it is completely messed up the understanding of this part which is why it goes into a total confusion over here it says it's confusing and other things and then it is kind of made a mess of everything over here the only model where i found this delhi metro map for navigation working was gemini 2.5 pro without search it was able to understand the image and give me proper answers but here it's a total failure kind of messes up the whole thing okay and it's not giving a proper answer mm, it totally confuses it it says go to huda city center somewhere kind of messes it says go over here from the green line no point in that right because it's messed up this understanding of this part itself the delhi metro network itself okay then i gave it some kind of uh, mathematical problems just to check so these kind of problems like finding you know this is a spaceship which travels towards a massive planet with a velocity of 0.8 c determine the time dilation um experienced by the passengers on the spaceship when they are at a distance of 5000 kilometers from the surface of the planet assuming what the planet has a mass of 5.97 into 10 to the power of 24 kg and a radius of this here it works perfectly fine okay and it gives the answer as 1.667 which was the correct answer uh, so it works fine on this mathematical problem another mathematical problem where i tried was uh, you know let me see if it is over here tried a couple of mathematic uh, problems and it kind of worked well uh, let me see uh, yeah beam analysis and stress calculation over here okay the thing which i forgot to mention is you go to quen chart by default the model selected is this quen 3235 822 billion you also have other models but this is their most powerful mixture of experts language model So here was a uh, strength of materials kind of calculation for uh, you know calculating the maximum bending stress of a cantilever beam it was able to do this and give the proper answer okay this is in non thinking so i found out non thinking mode mostly to do well for a lot of problems okay so then i had uh, tried another problem whereby actually i gave uh, you know an ipl just to you know see uh, what is new and uh, like in terms of search how it works So I said, who won yesterday's IPL match and what was special about it? It says yesterday's IPL match was between this thing where Rajasthan rolled. What made this match special was explosive performance by a player who scored one not one of thirty eight balls. So the summary is very small over here. I was expecting that it says it could say that you know this player was uh, you know a very young player and um, that was the record which was achieved, right? So then I asked who was the explosive player and look at the search which it has done. Ten most expensive players in football history, the most explosive player. This is where somewhere the LLM kind of messes up where. it's not taking the previous context when searching over here it's giving it's doing some kind of a search over here okay but this is one which is relevant so it says explosive player in the recent ipl match was this fellow vai bau suryavanshi who scored one not one of just 38 balls uh, this performance was particular rima as he's become the youngest player to score a senior t20 century so this answer i expected it over here without the follow up kind of question 
So still LLMs don't match your expectations on what you are expecting because if I were a human and I asked this question to somebody who has won the match, who saw the match yesterday, probably the reply would be this, right? Uh, so that's kind of, you know, still LLMs have to catch up to that. That's how I look at it. Okay. So these were some of the problems which I tried it out across, you know, different domains, uh, mathematics, coding, a little bit of uh, clinical diagnosis right uh, visual interpretation where it failed over here in this particular use case so that's my observation always that you know benchmarks scores are one thing performance on your cases is a different thing so whether a model works on your cases is totally different this might be a very good model but you need to check if it works out for you uh, so they have, they are also talking about some integration with mcp over here but that feature is currently not present it was disabled it is supposed to come over here for agentic capabilities uh, Quen 3 plus MCP. So when it comes, we can check it out. The other details are present over here in this particular blog. You can check out how they have done their post training, pre training, and all the stuff. I'll not go into it. So this has been my limited testing of Quen 3. It's a good model, but whether it works for certain use cases, you need to check out for yourself. Uh, these models are available for download on Hugging Face. Uh, it's available on Model Scope and other uh, places like uh, Kaggle as well. Okay, uh, and it uh, even. You know, you can use it locally with Olama LM Studio MLX and other things. Uh, so, what would be of more interest to me is the smaller model, how it performs. So, maybe I'll create another video on the smaller model. I'll be able to test it out and maybe create a video on the smaller model to test it out locally. You also have the other models in this family like Quen3. These are non-reasoning models, which are Quen3 32 billion, Quen3 14 billion, Quen3 8 billion, Quen3 4 billion, Quen3 1.7, and even a smaller. And all the models are open weight models under Apache 2.0 license, which means you can use it for commercial purposes, which is excellent. Hope this video was useful. See you in another video.